self assembly. Basically, we have one Sony three head cassette deck TCK 611S. There is that all you can hear is motor sound, and when you press an open close, you hear more motor sound, but nothing is going on. So, I'm just gonna stop it here. I don't want to hear that motor sound. Something needs to be done with this Casadec. Yes. We will need to unscrew four screws. Two from the left side. And two from the other side, yeah. That's the first thing you need to do, and then the cover will be up. Then with the cover off, you will have to unscrew those two screws here, and there are two similar things at the bottom. Yeah. There is one at the bottom, and the other one at the bottom those two are holding the mechanism those two are important but before you do any of those shenanigans it would be good if you can remove the door because the mechanism will not slide with the door closed so you can you need to try and do and find a way how can you open the door when it's open close not working Now, when I unscrewed all the four screws, you can see the transport is kind of released, it's wiggled. And you may ask, how did I remove the front door? Where well, there is a latch here. It's hard to see it right now, but I kind of wiggle it, jiggle it, and then I removed it. Now we need to remove all those cables and then we're gonna work on transport so yeah you can decide but i think it's the best way to remove it right right here and then after you remove all the cables connected with the transport then you can uh, slightly remove it from the chassis and the board and try to work on it yeah that's what I'm gonna do right now. I forgot to mention that you need also to unhood those three head um, cables connectors. There are three of them from the motherboard because we already unhooked all those three from the top of it but these are from the heads so yeah I want to mention that too and it because it's sexy I just want to tape this empty hole here I don't know it just seems like a cool Look at those wires and everything. Yeah, I'm weird, I know. Now when the transfer is out of the chassis, you can try to first thing remove the door. Yeah, it's kind of tricky, but you have to do it. Maybe I'm gonna use my tweezers for this occasion. This springs needs to come out. Oh oh camera is shaking. So yeah it's tight but it needs to come out. Then when you move that away, you can remove this plate. Oh, 
Oh, I'm touching my camera. Okay, big mistake. It's tight. Then you can release this hatch and try to remove the whole plate. So let's see. Oh. Maybe I need to do this washer first. Is this a washer? Hmm. It's kind of funny. Let's see how it's gonna go. I think it's a washer. tight little one I can see because I'm recording with the camera and camera is on my way maybe a little bit more light yeah it is but it's kind of stuck Now I think we can remove the door. Okay. We'll put that back. Hold on a second. Now with this cover removed, I can unscrew those two. The camera is shaking like crazy. It needs to be closed. I know. <laughs> now it's good. So, yeah, this is the first part now we need to do we can actually remove this washer too i don't want to lose it someone mentioned before that i lost almost lost a couple of them and then we're gonna work on this other part of the chassis or of the transport right so we got a like a three screws one is very long here yeah very long and we got like a two normal screws one is here oopsie i touched the camera it's gonna be the worst video ever i know but uh, because i'm recording with my action camera which is very close to the thing and then it's shaking it's gonna be the worst one i know <laughs> maybe not if i catch some details can see anything all right I'm gonna do it no matter what I explained already we're gonna clean this uh, because I removed the washer and there is a belt stuck as you can see here we need to remove that I already removed some of it from the chassis and you can see it here the old belt parts of it here all gooey and some of it on the on the motor 
here so yeah I need to remove all of that to clean it up and then we can go further now I'm gonna spin this wheel like uh, to stay in this position here and then I'm gonna unscrew this screw and there is one here that is holding this ground wire yes <clears throat> and one more here oh I touched the camera again <laughs> you need better camera with zoom all those screws are very long so no mistake there and then I'm gonna uh, what's next yeah, I think this part is kind of tricky. I flipped it on the another side. And then we need to remove this part. There is a washer there. Yes. You can see it. just gonna put it in a secure place then I'm gonna remove the whole thing and then I'm gonna flip it back try to remove uh -huh, one more screw yeah I forgot about this one also very long one and then we're gonna flip it yeah and there you go gooey very gooey motor belt melted and the uh, second part you can see it here so we need to clean all those things before we can continue it's funny uh so I have, a, I have, I used to have two liaisons. I have a liaison now. I have one guy that I can talk to at YouTube, which is super helpful. And he's helped my show grow. He, he's had great ideas. And he's an earnest fellow. I like the guy. The two people I had before him, uh, uh, I was, I, I, I wanted to have an honest conversation. And I kept trying to get them to admit that there's two different algorithms. One for corporate news and one for independent news. And they're suppressing us. And I understand why. But just admit it so we can have a real conversation. And they would never admit that there was two algorithms. Head of YouTube was interviewed, and she admitted that they had a different algorithm for independent news and a different one for reliable news sources, meaning corporate news, which is funded by the military industrial complex, Wall Street, and Big Pharma. So she admitted it, and then I brought it up at the next meeting, and they were like, yes, that was unfortunate that she said that. <laughs> So of course we know there's two different algorithms, which is why corporate news shows like Rising was able to grow so quickly with such shit content that nobody wanted to watch. But when you clean it, it looks like this. I'm using goo gun and uh, alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, and then it's done, like new. <laughs> and the partner in crime is here, as you can see we are all rolling together, grease on this wheel is still good. We're going, not going to touch it, but before we put this wheel, we need to put a belt here. 
and of course before we can do all that the trickiest part is to remove goo from this wheel yes let's try to do that So how do you get inside those small pieces, small particles? You see it's not cleaned perfectly, it's a little bit black line there, but I use like a sharp tool, a bounty, and then I just like do like this, flip it, make a sharp bounty uh, thing and then I would put it here on the wheel and try to clean it like this so as much as many times as you can do it because it will always, always stay will be a little bit dirty <laughs> yeah a lot of isopropyl alcohol I guess but it's clean enough uh, it's clean enough doesn't have to be perfect if you cannot reach it. And then I ordered a bunch of belts. One of it is this small one, so called SBM. Yeah, and while we are here, I may put some couple of drops. No. And since I'm here, before I replace the belts, I'm gonna drop a couple of drops of oil, uh, like here. Let me see if I can demonstrate. Yeah. So I don't know if I did it properly, but I put it here. Yeah. So the motor will spin nicely. And I'm going to do the same thing, of course, here. a little bit tricky because we don't have much space and I want to record it but I think I did it yeah uh, it's tough because I'm not using my cell phone as a camera view finder whatever it is but hey we're gonna make it the most important part is we lubricated everything and the grease is still good so we don't have to do much about it uh, we're gonna adjust the this all right rotary sensor here <clears throat> and before i continue some of you would ask where do you find your belts so i found nice place for belts they're working fine for me. Maybe they're not the, the best ever belts, but all of them are kind of neat better than any Chinese product that I use so Maybe you should check it out if you need a belt for your turntables Recorders players whatever those guys have kind of neat website. You can select your uh, brand like a Sony Tascam Panasonic and then you can select your uh, deck and then they will show you if they have a belt for you and how much it costs and usually you can get it uh, even with a, with the a free shipping if you don't mind for tracking and stuff like that but the shipping is kind of cheap too so yeah turntableneedles.com I have to mention it because I don't know they're kind of good they screwed me once but then they are fix the issue so I have to address and tell like um, they're kind of fair 
So what did they deliver to me this time? That would be the question. I got a set of belts. Uh, let me see. This one is SBM 2.58 times. This this is the one that we need here right now. It's a small belt that will need to fit here from this wheel okay to the motor but now we're gonna hook it up just here on those two plastic parts which will be if everything is good mm -hmm, mm -hmm. got some oh i got some grease or some black stuff we need to address that Yeah, I'm gonna clean that belt anyway with the alcohol. Camera is shaking. I'm gonna clean that belt anyway with the alcohol and then I'm gonna put it back. Uh, I'm recording with my DJI Osmo camera which is, doesn't have some kind of zoom or stuff but I guess because it's 4k you're gonna be able to check it out zoom it wherever so as you can see I hook it up there then I'm gonna put back this other wheel yeah and then we're gonna have to look at this groove here that groove needs to be aligned with this small part here I don't know if you can see it there is a plastic thing here so if we do that then we are good mm -hmm. it's got in going nicely right now yes perfect alignment now we're gonna we have four screws that we did unscrew before one is here and doesn't need any like a couple of yeah it's already there the other one is here the same thing Oopsie, it's not there. Then it's here. My mistake. My mistake. Oopsie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Yes, of course. The third one should be here. Yeah. And the fourth one should be here. Oopsie, magnetic things. It's oh, I'm touching the camera again. It's gonna be shaky, very shaky video. I know. I'm gonna make another arrangement then for the next time. But right now, I think I have to only address that. Now we got that black. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it. Black belt there. So we need to put it on the motor. And I'm gonna do it with my tweezers easily and it's there so it's on I got it on I can check it a little bit of moving there a little bit moving here yeah we got that small back belt back now what I'm gonna do I mean I cleaned everything before on the uh, I didn't want to record it. I think I made a couple of videos with recording me of patiently cleaning all that stuff. So I didn't want to record that again. So I guess this would be the, you know, like the part that I assume you cleaned it as I did. Um, but it takes time, so I didn't want to record it, of course.
as I mentioned before, I ordered some belts and this large PBS 8.6 is probably for the another model of the uh, 707 ES and there are two more one smaller PBS 5.1 is probably for the same thing and this one 8.0 would be appropriate for this 611 deck so we'll go with that so yeah I cleaned everything off the camera uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just put a little bit of oil here not too much just a little bit so it can spin freely we put the oil in all three motors and now we're doing it here as you can see it flows nicely <laughs> so the next thing will be putting back the motor and hooking the belt now I holding it I can stretch it to this point here and here and then the clean everything is clean part will come back on its plate oh, let's see I believe that's it yeah perfectly fine all right Schmirk here, schmirk there, schmirk everywhere. I forgot where that shit goes, but anyway. Alright, I guess I'm gonna hook this motor back here, touch the camera, shake it off. I guess I'm gonna put this connector back for the motor, check it out, yeah. Well now I'm gonna put back this long screw back here. That's a long one. And there are two who are basically I think one of it here. Whoa, shaking the camera, of course. Uh, not so successful video, but hey, maybe we're gonna make it. Then I'm gonna put the this belt back into position. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you do. hooked here now all I have to do is put it back on the wheel it's hard to record and to do it uh -huh. I think I can do it from this side or maybe with another tweezers yeah one one is back and the other one yes it's on the wheel Mm -hmm. 
now I'm gonna just spin it until it's in the middle it is in the middle yeah so this part is fine <laughs> Yeah, I forgot where did I have to put this, I believe it's somewhere here, I'll put it here, anywhere you put it it's the same thing. <laughs> But it's a ground wire, so who cares? All it has to be is to be grounded. Any screw is fine. <laughs> and then, after I finish all this job, we're gonna find out this is this was the crucial moment of mistake. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, <clears throat> now there are a couple of other things to do. First we need to put back this mechanism. And since the grease is already very good, I'm not going to touch anything there. I'm just going to try to put it back as it was. Because if everything is working just fine, I'm not going to touch it. What I'm going to touch is... Alright, cleaning, cleaning this greasy part capstan pinch roller everything that could be somehow i did put some oil there so i have to clean that stuff yeah don't worry about it it's gonna be just fine and now we're gonna clean it again I did clean it even before when I put it back, of course, but now we are cleaning it again. And since we are here, we can clean the heads to playback recording heads, a little bit recording, uh, erasing head. Um, I can do this later, but I'm gonna clean it up anyway right now because it's very dirty. You can see it how much is it's it is dirty. So we're gonna do one cleaning right now. Oh so dirty. So dirty that we can use our dirty cotton swab to clean it more and more and more. Wow. It, it was dirty. <laughs> but it's good, it's okay. It just needs to be cleaned. Ah, a lot of cleaning. As usual, you can skip that. As long as you can see dirt and black and gray. I mean you can clean it up like for a long time before it gets totally clean. <laughs> uh, that's the point of cleaning. You're gonna have better sound. That's why you have to do it. Okay, I'm gonna clean it more even. Oh, the battery is dying. <laughs> Luckily I got another battery. Yeah. Everything is dying, better is dying, this is dying, that is dying. Okay. 
I'm gonna put back this thing back it is a cover with a back light for the tape oh, how many time I touched this camera and shake it I don't know way too many <laughs> you're gonna be pissed off I don't know what can I say bad combination I hope this video is gonna be successful so yeah I believe the thing is going here that would be it everything looks good now we're gonna do this thing I screwed up something there, but I'm gonna fix it. Let me check how it goes. Ah, yeah. This is going here, and this is going there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. You wanna be here. You wanna click there. Click it, click it. Alright. What's the problem here? Ah, you wanna click on both sides. Ah, I gotcha. It needs to be like this on both sides. Yeah. And then you can put this thing, I guess, from the back. And then you can do this thing, washer, that I couldn't see. Ah, I touched my camera. <laughs> oh, it's tough when you don't have space to work. All right, I'm going to make it. I'm gonna make it this time. I just need a different tool. <clears throat> yes, different tool. It's all that you need is different tool. Oh yeah, and the last thing, this plate, it comes like that. Okay, okay, open it a little bit. Perfect, you got it. And this thing, and then we have this thing, and oh, oopsie. Oh. You can make it, ah, yeah, you made it. And the motor comes here, All right? No, like this, yes, all good, fine and dandy, I'm not sure about this one, probably goes here, huh? it can go here, but anyway, I'll check it out, I think that would be the mechanism put back, we'll see, we'll see, let's check it out. I think this one is something that I missed. I know there is one piece of, let's say, one helper that will help us to make our cables more neat. That's missing. I think that was that. Yeah, something like this. We're gonna check it out even more, but yeah. I believe that, see that, yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. To keep the cables neat. <laughs> now I'm gonna put it back. 
first thing first I'm gonna try to you know screw those couple of screws here that can hold it a little bit before we can test it yeah yeah one is there <laughs> two and then I'm gonna connect my cables I'm just gonna hold transfer with those two screws and there are two at the bottom don't forget I'm gonna connect those Yes, of course. The third one. And then we have those wires for the head. I forgot where did I <laughs> unplug them. Eh, I'll find it. Yes. What about this one? The white one. Yeah. That one should go here. Mm -hmm. Another side. What about the red one? Uh huh. Red one is here. And the third one, Piccolo. Hmm. I'll find it, huh? Maybe this one. Yeah. That would be the third one, Piccolo. So I guess now the moment of truth. Can it open the door? Oh, yeah, it can. And can it close it? Oh, yeah, it can. Can it fast forward? Yes, it can, but we have the same problem. Dirty switches for the tape. Or maybe the mechanism is not in place, whatever. Oh yeah, maybe the mechanism is not in place. We'll check that out, we'll check that out. Anyway, rewind, play. Oh yeah. That's enough for me. That's enough for me. Mission accomplished. Almost. Almost. But we got the results. We got the results. It's better than it was. Open, close, play, fast forward, rewind. Hmm. Let's see if I screw the couple more screws and then let's see how it goes. Yes, yeah, so after I neatly screwed all my screws from the transport back again, I'm trying to testing it without a sound. Fast forward, rewind, playback, normal tape, switcher is working, it recognized the metal, it recognized the crumb tape, all it's fine and dandy. The next thing, next thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hook it up on my amplifier so we can test the speed. That would be the appropriate thing to do right now. Yeah. And there you go, the crucial moment, testing the speed of the tape. I got my application here going on. I got my test tape here going on. I'm gonna press play. What the fuck? This cannot be true. This cannot be fucking true. I don't have to adjust anything. The tape is already 
All I needed to do is to replace it with the proper belts and I don't need to adjust the tape speed, it's correct. It is, trust me. Perfect. I know that it, because it's like a, a little bit slower, the tape is a little bit slower, so the tape is on the right speed. And you don't mind 0.09 <laughs> on this kind of deck, like wow, I am amazed. How can that be that? Let's try. I got another tape. Let me try another tape. This one is like a good XLS, but it's 100 minutes. That can cause the problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it's on the speed because the boat tapes are a little bit slower. This is fabulous. Wow. Yeah, let's try to test the speed of this tape. It's on the point, 440, that's what I need. Maybe a little bit less, but the tape is anyway 100 minutes, so I'll take it. It's a perfect speed and I like it. Who would tell? You just I just replaced the belts, I didn't even have to adjust the speed. But if I need to adjust the speed, uh, let me kill this annoying noise. You will have to go on this motor, put your very, very small uh, screwdriver there, and then you're gonna wiggle it, I mean, turn it left to right, and use some application like this one, G strings, that will show you the frequency. Uh, but of course, <laughs> before all of that, you need a <clears throat> test tape. How can you get a test tape? You need to find someone who's got a direct drive cassette deck. Direct drive that has perfect speed, then you record the perfect speed, 440 hertz or any uh, some other frequency, and then you're gonna play it here and adjust your cassette deck. Uh, let's say I'm gonna put a cover on this one and see how it goes with this one. So yeah, I neatly connected all the cables, check the speed, everything is kinda ready to be tested properly. I'm gonna put the cover on, screw the screws back and try it. So yeah, I finally did it. I put it back together. I tried to test it a little bit, not too much. Everything seems to work just fine. I have to record something on it. Try that calibration and stuff like that. And then we're gonna know if it's working properly 100% or not. But so far it's good. Auto, automatic music search, working fine. Uh, we'll see. It looks good. Mint, if you ask me from this point of view. There are a couple of scratches on the top, but that's like a, if you put it in a rack or somewhere, you're not gonna even see it. It's good, it's good, it's working. Yeah. No more problems for this one. Remember that?